here. Yesterday we departed from Georgetown, which we explored in our last episode, and sailed the 30 miles to Long Island in one long day. Today we've headed into town to explore a farmer's market, and later we'll hit some other spots on the island with our friends via a rental car. It's not that often that we rent a car, but there are a couple of destinations on Long Island that we can't resist checking out while we're here. It's our first morning on Long Island and we're heading inshore to check out the farmer's market. It's supposed to be pretty good. I'm really excited to see what they have. Actually a really pretty island. Thing. And I've actually been looking for something like this because we have so much foreign change since we travel so many places and I just put it in a Ziploc bag but now I have a cute little, Heart. Cute little pouch. And you'll think of Long Island every time you use it. Yes, and I got some farm fresh eggs, peony loaf, just trying to make sure everything's... There we go. Fresh bread. Sweet. Yes. Look at that view. So we've um, just negotiated a rental car. We're gonna be taking a little road trip and Long Island is pretty friggin' long. It's 70 miles long. So um, there's a lot to see. Um, and some of the anchorages up north are not really great. So that's where we're gonna go today is up north, um, the north part of the island. And I think we're gonna check out the Columbus Monument and some really pretty white sand beaches. Next stop, we check out a beautiful beach, and while there, spend some time watching a local chop through some coconuts with impressive speed. I'm sure you serious. I kinda want one. Accuracy is key. AJ is very friendly, and kind enough to share some fresh coconut water with us. I'm AJ. 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 Thank you. <laughs> I've never done this before. There you go. Mm.
My favorite part of any road trip in a new place is making spontaneous stops whenever we want. Not focused solely on planned destinations, but exploring whatever calls to us and just going with the flow. Sometimes I think that's the best way to get a good feel for a place. We are on shore now and our friends from Sailing Vessel Keel and it have picked up the rental car. So we're about to start our road trip and we're actually going to go see Dean's Blue Hole, um, which is I think the, one of the most best favorite things that I wanted to do. So I'm pretty happy about that. So this is Dean's Blue Hole, famous Blue Hole, behind me, and um, we're gonna go for a dip now. We're gonna check it out. The water is so blue, and you sink into the sand. It's so uh, it feels really good. So squishy. Stingray, put my mask on and see what I can see down here. This place, a natural sinkhole, is just so incredible and it's thrilling to be here exploring it. It's not only stunningly beautiful, but it is amazing just to think about its depth while swimming around. The center of this blue hole is 663 feet, the second deepest in the world. With no dive gear with us, we won't make it down too far, but that's not gonna stop us from trying. I go first, but being much more buoyant than Bill, I don't make it very deep. But Bill has better luck than I. Hiking up to the top of Dean's Blue Hole. So, swimming the Blue Hole was amazing, but I actually 
actually think being up here, looking down on it, competes with that experience. It's just so incredible looking down at the colors of the water. Um, even when the clouds come over, it still looks beautiful. Um, and it's just peaceful up here. And it's really And there's the sun, and the water is just spectacular. I feel like I want to live here. And there's a cave right below me. You can see it. I'm going to try to get down there because in my little fantasy that I'm having right now, I want to live in that cave and just swim here every day, take a hike every day. I mean, come on. This is one of the prettiest places I think we've ever been. That beach. This is the little cave that I was looking for. Oh wow, can get up all the way from the water. So that's where I've just come from, up at the top. I came down around this little cave, and now I'm basically at the bottom, and Dean's Blue Hole is right behind me. So I found a path that you could get from the water to go up top. This is really peaceful. excited than me. He's not really a sitting in the car kind of person. Not so much. I'm more an active doer kind of, not really sitting. Yeah, and he's already been to a farmer's market today and now a grocery Super store. Um, I want to go scarfing. <laughs> oh, hello! 